In February 2021, Disney announced that they would be shutting down one of their animation studios, Blue Sky. A bunch of you probably already know where I'm going with this. The film they were working on at the time, Nimona, got caught in the crossfire and ended up getting cancelled outright. There was an enormous amount of passion for the graphic novel and excitement for the film, so to say this was devastating would be an understatement. However, fast forward to April of 2022, Annapurna Animation announced that not only had they quietly picked up the project earlier that year, but that Nimona would be released in 2023. Nick Bruno and Troy Quain, who worked on Nimona's story after the director's departure in 2020, were brought on board by Annapurna Animation as the directors. The animation pipeline Blue Sky used wasn't compatible with the new studio, but the documentation Blue Sky kept on the project allowed them to replicate their work from the ground up while still being faithful to the art direction. The film was released in 2023 to critical acclaim. So what does this have to do with Ruby? Well, for the three or four of you that don't yet know, Warner Discovery is shutting down Rooster Teeth and and selling off their IPs. As a publisher with a history of canceling the release of finished projects as tax write-offs, it's tempting to call this a classic Warner L, but those who've been paying close attention to Rooster Teeth and their operations for the past while would probably agree with me when I say that I'm not surprised. Don't get me wrong, it's absolutely heartbreaking. There's an incredible dedication from the creative team across almost all of their projects, and that enthusiasm shines through in the final product. But the money moves made very little sense. To dramatically oversimplify, Rooster Teeth was not efficiently capitalizing on the popularity of their strongest IPs while continuing to pour resources into projects with waning consumer interest. As of right now, Ruby is in a state of limbo. Rooster Teeth will continue to operate for a little while, and Carrie mentioned in a recent live stream that they're still talking with partners to try and make Volume 10 a reality. But in spite of this, there's a lot of doom scrolling happening at the moment, and many who are declaring the show is dead. Dead. As for me, I found myself, perhaps habitually, leaning towards optimism. You may call it cope, but I call it hope. Remind me never to become a poet. I do mean it though, there's way too much passion both internally and externally for this series to simply fizzle out. Whoever acquires the rights to Ruby is unlikely to be stretched nearly as thin as Rooster Teeth was. A live-action-centric gaming comedy talk show podcast network that begrudgingly has an animation department attached to it. Ruby fans are a among the most dedicated people I've ever met, and studios know this, so there isn't really any doubt in my mind that someone will continue the show. The Expanse was brought back from the dead by Amazon after being cancelled by Sci-Fi. Do you really think someone's going to buy the rights to Ruby, a property that frequently surpasses the Expanse in worldwide search queries, and do nothing with it? And remember, Ruby was never even formally cancelled. The Expanse and Nimona both were, and they still came back. That's not to say I don't have concerns. Concerns. Easily the scariest part of this entire process is the uncertainty as to who will take Ruby in and whether the product we get as a result will be faithful to the show's intended direction. In that respect, we truly don't know and speculation isn't exactly going to do much good. What we do know is that while the company is still in operation, Carrie is going to be fighting tooth and nail to try and make sure the project is in good hands. With Ruby, nothing's really different. We're still talking to the same partners. We will let you know the second we have news. I, with all of my heart and everything I have want to finish that story. It started over 10 years ago and it's been a third of my life and I really want to finish what we started. So I'm going to do my best. Regardless of what happens, it'll probably be a while before we hear developments. And for those, I'd recommend subscribing to Robin Rising, one of the most reliable sources for Ruby news on the platform. But even amidst that wait, we still have cool stuff to look forward to. Remember those dedicated Ruby fans I alluded to earlier? They haven't stopped working just because the main show's parents are negotiating negotiating custody. The fan projects coming out this year alone are insane. Evermorrow is constantly expanding. The Invincible Girl resembles a mainline Beacon episode so closely it's uncanny. Kalaxin and Murder of Birds are going to be hosting the Oscars, a celebration of Volume 9's achievements. Dust Queen. Need I say more? Uh, hi, Editor Soul here. I was dumb and stupid and forgot to mention that all the Volume 9 bonus content is still coming out, so we have official material to look forward to as well, which is pretty cool.
Okay, back to the video. On top of all of that, even before this news broke, some dedicated fans came together to start a month-long online event called Summer of Ruby. So many Ruby content creators are gonna be there, I'm probably gonna do something for it. Check out their socials, and in a few months' time, I guarantee you'll find something to satiate your Ruby cravings. And for those of you asking about Volume 5 Redux, Chapter 10 is still coming, and so are the two remaining breakdowns. But the exact future of that project is unclear to me at this time. One of Rooster Teeth's biggest strengths as a company was their undying support for fan projects, which is essentially the only reason we could ever publish Redux to begin with. That'll persist for the next few months while they're still in operation, but there's a chance that whoever buys the rights to Ruby won't be as lenient in that department. But even if it does get taken down from YouTube, we'll find ways to supply links or direct downloads. If the Star Wars fans can find a way to share their fan edits in spite of Disney, so can we. But yeah, it's gonna be a trying time as we wait for Ruby news, but I haven't lost hope and I don't think you should either. I wish everyone at Rooster Teeth the best of luck on their journeys and hope the opportunities they're presented with are as fulfilling as this one has been. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Catch you later.